The Aero Spacelines Mini Guppy is a large, wide-bodied U.S. cargo aircraft used for aerial transport of outsized cargo components. The Mini Guppy is one of the Guppy line of aircraft produced by Aero Spacelines. Topic: <laughs> Mini Guppy versions. Two versions of the Mini Guppy were produced. Both versions are colloquially referred to as the Mini Guppy. Both Mini Guppies were built using parts salvaged from a surplus Boeing 377, but with an all-new fuselage. This enabled Aero Spacelines to widen the Mini Guppy cargo bay floor to 13 feet 4 meters, as opposed to the 8 feet 2.4 meters restriction imposed when building directly onto a B-377 fuselage. Borrowed parts included the cockpit, wings, and tail. Topic Mini Guppy The Mini Guppy, or MG, was built with a swing tail to facilitate cargo loading. It was powered by the original Pratt & Whitney R4360 WASP major piston engines, enabling it to carry a maximum load of 32,000 pounds and cruise at 250 miles per hour Its cargo bay was 18 feet 5 .5 meters in diameter, and a maximum of 91 feet 6 in .9 meters long, with a 73 feet 2 in .3 meters constant section. The Mini Guppy first flew on May 24, 1967, and Aero Spacelines operated it for several years, ferrying contract cargo, including NASA's famed Pioneer 10 space probe and the Goodyear Europa until it was sold to American Jet Industries in 1974. American Jet Industries sold it to Aero Union in 1980, who sold it to Ericsson Air Crane eight years later. Ericsson Air Crane used the Mini Guppy to haul heavy equipment until 1995, when it was retired to the Tillamook Air Museum in Tillamook, Oregon, where it resides today. Topic. Mini Guppy Turbine The second version was officially known as the Mini Guppy Turbine MGT and Guppy 101. It was the first Guppy aircraft to feature upgraded Allison 501D22C turboprop engines. Like the MG, the MGT had a 73 feet 2 in .3 meters constant diameter section of the cargo hold, but the overall length had been increased to 103 feet 2 in .4 meters, and the diameter was slightly wider, 18 feet 4 in .6 meters. This, combined with the upgraded engines, enabled it to carry a maximum payload of 62,925 pounds kilograms, almost twice the load the MG could handle. It was built with a swing nose for easier cargo loading. The MGT first took to the air on March 13, 1970, but was short-lived. On May 12, 1970, the Mini Guppy turbine was lost, along with the entire crew, in an accident during flight testing at Edwards Air Force Base, California. See also Pregnant Guppy, the original Guppy Super Guppy, larger successor to the pregnant Guppy Conroy Skymonster External links All about Guppies Aero Space Lines 377 MGT Mini Guppy Turbine Guppy 101 Aero Space Lines 377 MGT Mini Guppy Turbine Guppy 101 Accident Aero Space Lines 377 MGT Mini Guppy Turbine Accident Description NTSB Accident Report Boeing B-377 at Boeing.com